bloggers pow Right, it's unboxing time. Another special delivery from strictlygames.com. It's another of these limited edition things. So, what's in the box? Let's have a look. Paper. It's always brown paper. Makes a lot of noise on camera. So, well, you can read what it says on that. In a bizarre fit of deja vu, it's another Darius unboxing. Huh? This is the, my third Darius box set unboxing. I think people think I have a thing for Darius, so I probably do. Well, let's open this up. Oh, right, that's tight. Right, so we've got a postcard. That's what you normally get with straight to limited games. Postcard. And you've also got this quite hefty box again with the seals on there. Oh dear, that is going to hate me. Oh no! Inside we have, there we go, Darius Cosmic Revelation. I think we never mind, let's see what else is in this couple of box. Huh, a very similar book to the last one I had. So this is the Cosmic Voyager book. Um, the, uh, the other strictly limited Darius box set had a uh, very similar book but uh, I guess this is all the content to do with the stuff that's on this particular box set so that's nice and a pin badge lovely there is cosmic revelation another piece of protective card oh and we've got the um, same as last time coasters see Darius that's to cover the uh, last book, the golden and lost one. Another chronicle of Revelation. So, some nice coasters again. Feel me off, not going to. Another piece of protective card. Oh, what's under here? Ooh. Oh, okay. That's a papercraft model of. Oh, it's a papercraft model of the. Various arcade cabinet bunch of things. Yeah, there we go, it is. I'm not going to take it out of there because I'm going to ruin it if I do that. But it's very nice and absolutely cap handed at creating it. But uh, nice to have. Right, so onto the actual box itself. This is obviously, as you can see, the Switch version. Plastic. Oh, it's a slipcase one. That's nice. And then I'll just disable the car. There we go. And we've got inside those two omnibus seven fifty soundtrack. Live in O East Revolt Blu-ray. Ah, so this is live. Performance of some of the Darius music, I'm guessing. Oh, interesting. Oh, one of these plastic standy things. You've seen my uh, Azure Lane video. You know, I've got a couple of these for other games. That's very, very nice. What's this? Oh, flyers. Yeah, flyers, one for G Darius and one for Darius Person of the Chronicle, which of course there are two games on this compilation. There are only two games on this one, but they're the higher end in terms of uh, graphical fidelity, I suppose. That's like 3D polygon job. And there we go, actual Darius cartridge itself. Ooh. That's interesting. Cigar. I'll come to that in a bit later. Okay, let's get this opened and plug in the switch and have a look at it. 
Right, so first off, here is the games. So we've got Darius G, G Darius should I say, HD, Darius Burst CX we know about now. Strangely enough, well not strangely, welcome enough, here is Sagaya for the Game Boy, which I'm not going to cover in this video, because it will um, interrupt something I'm going to do later next month. So uh, well, it's a nice addition to have, but it's not being mentioned today. Right. So, uh, first off, we've got some really nice big widescreen presentation there. Of course, you'd expect that from M2. Any button to start. So you can play in HD mode. We can play the original arcade version with its uh, lower detail graphics. So we're going to play the HD version because this is why we're here. So, right, so we begin. So we, can we skip this? We can skip this. Now, for a Darius game, this has a quite an unusual mechanic. You've got your shoot button, which you would expect. Shoot stuff down, collect your power. That's simple. You've also got, I don't know which button it is, a capture ball. So that allows you to capture an enemy ship, like so. The enemy ship will then increase your firepower. What the enemy ship also does, if you hold down the capture button, I think it's the capture button, no, I think it's not. Let's have a look. In one of the buttons, you can do this. Not that. This. You can suck it in and do a massive amount of damage using a beam of sacrificing the, um, the ship you've captured. So let's have another ship. Just do that. And we've just gone past the point of the game where it gives you a choice of directions um, midway through the level. So Darius games are well known for having branching paths. This has two lots, branching path at the end level and a branching path midway through the level, which will affect the, um, at least on one level I remember, will affect the boss battle. Very unusual soundtrack to Gidarius, I do like it, it is unusual though. And it sort of fades in and out as well, it's interesting as well. Lots of lovely detail in the background, like that train zipping through there. Like the Wakandan Express or something. Oh. Lost my shield doing that, but okay, never mind. I'm sure another one will be up in a minute. In a minute. And that's a, probably a bonus, isn't it? Oh, that's a smart ball. Oh, look, there's a shield. I don't think it's going to be long before the first boss. I do remember the first boss comes out of the sun or something. It's quite an int quite a, a, a boss introduction. One thing I'll say, this is slowing down a tad. I think the arcade game slowed down a tad in places. There we go, here comes the boss. Boss! Huge battleship with clip size approaching fast. That looks really good, doesn't it? Right, so let's do this. That'll learn ya. Most of the bosses have a section of their attack where you can capture more things, so you've got something else to use as a beam weapon. Um, I'm not sure if this boss will get that far because I've already done. Ooh, shed a load of damage to it. It's been a long time since I've played this. There we go. I'll have one of those please, thank you very much. And it's gone. Well, this is where we'll get a... Oh, an achievement unlocked, stage one clear. We'll get a choice of routes here now. And I do believe... Oh god, one of these stages is really good and I can't remember which one it is. Let's hope it's that one. Otherwise, I'll be doing it and editing out here and going to the other one. Yep, 
Yeah, I think this is it. Gan gigantic ship. Now it's an extra capture ball, you can actually pick up extra capture balls just in case you really need to catch them all. Do with an upgrade to my shield, I imagine. Captured that, that's lovely. And that'll act as somewhat of a shield for the front of my ship, at least for a short amount of time. Really great what you can do with your extra firepower just by capturing certain ships at certain times. You can also detonate the ship in front of you by pressing the capture ball button again. I'll try and capture that. I I missed it. Ah, right, that's right. I've got to blow the arm off the front before the capture ball will work. That slow to actually help me there. Oh shit sticks. Right, we need something, anything. There we go, we'll have that. That'll do. And look at all the other little silver hawks helping me out. Right, let's go guys. Guys! Oh shit. Sorry guys. Yeah, we knew it was big. Queen Fossil has never looked so beautiful. Right, I, I, I'm going to go up, I think. This determines the, the attack pattern of the boss. And what a boss. It's huge. Oh shit sticks. I'm sure the PlayStation version of this was easier. Guns, however, that would have been fun. This looks absolutely beautiful. Missile? Can we have a missile? No. I need to capture something soon because we really do need it. <clears throat> was just out of reach that oh Christ almighty well we're continuing right now we really do need to capture something anything it's now a matter of life and doom all oh, right excellent we'll have that brilliant Or another armoured thing. Excellent. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. Right, okay, this is where we've got to pay attention because it's important I have something charged for this bit in a second. 
Well, he's ready to charge. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, damn it. I needed something charged at that point. Well, let's have one of these. Ah. Oh. You can... Ah, oh, didn't quite work. You can deflect the blast back at them if you've fully, got a fully charged what's it like one of those and you can really rip through the boss really quickly but completely cocks it up so annoyed oh crap Well, yeah, I won't spend too much longer. I mean, that's a good few minutes to play of that. Um, let's move along to uh, the other game. So, this is Darius Burst EX Plus Another Chronicle. So, we have Original Mode, Original EX Mode, Chronicle Mode. Uh, so, we'll go Original Mode first off. So, we could have infinite ships if you just want to waltz through the game. You can select your zone selection here rather than during the game in real time. And this is four players. Now, like um, G Darius, you do have an overdrive weapon, but it sort of charges. So, underneath my ship, you can see a little bar there, which goes up as I shoot stuff. And then when that's fully charged, I can use it. I do believe I can use it when it's partly charged, but you don't get quite as much power out of it. And this is the first game since Darius 2 to bring back the uh, large widescreen approach. Of course, being a later release, I think this was a late 2000s arcade game, early 2010s. Um, it was a big LCD monitor rather than three monsters stitched together, which is, of course, what the original did. And it's very nice and very pretty. And I'm probably going to be an absolute riot in four players. Oh, that's right, I've forgotten about that. If you double tap the beam button, you bring out a little option which will uh, stay put in a certain position and do your dirty work for you. Which you can see is great for a score multiplayer and a bit, bit like this. Which was nice. Iron Fossil is approaching fast now. It's Queen Fossil's younger brother or child or something. Not quite as hugely impressive, I don't think, as the G Darius uh, version, but still pretty cool nonetheless. Nice bit of music there. I do like the Darius music. be a powerful shot coming out of there. Let's do the thing with the beaming thing. It didn't quite work, did it? But at least I didn't die this time. This would be really good fun with four players. 
be confusing as hell, but it'll be really good fun. Oh, there we go. How'd you like your fish? Exploded. Well to top ranker, apparently. Did that say I'm seventh up there in the corner? That'd be weird if it was. Oh no, top world ranker will probably on this side. I don't know. There's no way I'm going to be suddenly seventh in the world at a game I've barely played. I say barely played. I've got a version of this on PlayStation 4. Um, which I'll come to in a minute. Let's do a little bit more of this. His battleship Lightning Claw is approaching fast now. All right. Okay. Let's have a quick look at um one of the other options here. Warning, mind your head while leaving. Oh, I will, but it's probably made of paper. Now, this is the, um, one of a better word, the mission mode. So you've got uh, different equipment to use, uh, or different rules. So, for example, that's fixed equipment, so I can only use stand the standard ships. Um, but it'll give you a fully armed ship by the looks of things. That one won't give you a fully armed ship. That's a two-player only one, so I can only play that with another person. That's a four-player only one. So let's just a quick go with the uh, fi this fixed equipment one. Now this is where I can select ship as well. So I've got three different versions. Now, I'm not sure if this is on here somewhere, but the PlayStation 4 version had DLC ships from things like Race Storm and um, other Taito shooters. Uh, maybe some Sega shooters as well, I think, I vaguely remember. But uh, I don't have to in this version. So yeah, this gives you a, uh, like I say, this is a bit like um, the Edge Master mode in uh, in Soul Edge, where you've got to do battles with certain conditions, except it shoots up stages with certain conditions. Which is a nice little replayability thing. So for this stage I've got f almost fully powered up ship and uh, also um, 16 lives to do it in. This is interesting. And it's probably because it's going absolutely mad with the... Uh, with the enemies here. So now a huge battleship mud wheel is approaching fast. Oh god, I remember this guy from the last time I played it. I think it's nearly gone. Yeah, well that wasn't too bad, was it? Right, I mentioned the PlayStation 4 version I'd played previously uh, a while back. And that was Darius Burst CS Chronicle Saviors. And they've got a s and that's got a section of the game called just Chronicle Saviors and it's a single screen rather than a stretch screen affair uh, which plays a little differently and it feels a little differently the main difference being that the graphics are a lot larger because it's not forced into widescreen and that's not on this compilation and I find that very strange a little bit disappointing that it's not on there as well maybe it's because that was a PS4 exclusive I, I don't know um, I don't know enough about the Darius Burst series because it seems to be few dozen different iterations of it but a strange omission um, and doesn't make it the quite the complete Darius collection I was hoping it would be taking into account the other Darius games that were on the previous compilations but still it's a nice box set to have uh, nice to have a HD version of G Darius which is an excellent game one of my favorites in the series and 
Darius Burst EX Chronicles, whatever it's called. Yeah, it's nice. I would like to play it four players. That'd be really good fun. The box set itself is really well produced, as you'd expect from the strictly limited games. I'm not on their payroll, by the way. But yeah, really nice. Really happy with the quality of this uh, box set. So, um, yep, all good. But uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, yeah, subscribe or naff off.